I'm Professor Emeritus Stephen Dickerson from Mechanical Engineering. My dad was trained as an engineer, although he didn't graduate as an engineer. And uh, I was inclined to sort of follow him. I started in 1965, right out of graduate school. I had an office to start with that I couldn't stand up in at one end. It was in a tin building. I had to crouch down when I went to the back of the office. When I first got here and went to Commerce, Georgia, and we were talking to some of the people out there, and I said I was starting at Georgia Tech and that I had graduated from MIT with a doctorate, and their answer, their comment was, well, MIT's almost as good as Georgia Tech. And I think that that's almost true today. <laughs> I had two brothers that went to Tech, uh, younger brothers. I remember reading, in the old days they used to produce a listing every quarter of student problems. So my brother shows up on this thing having unacceptable grades. Now that of course is all gone, but in the old days they listed students who had problems and everybody on the faculty got to see it. During my career, I was involved with the Manufacturing Research Center and the Material Handling Research Center. And during that particular work, we, including students of course working on it, discovered that it was possible to build a machine vision system a lot cheaper than people were used to doing it, okay? And so what happened was, we got this machine vision system built for a few hundred dollars, and machine systems were costing $10,000. And then one of my ex-graduate students came in and said, what shall I do with the rest of my life? And there was a guy named Ken Osting, and I said, Ken, let's commercialize this. Well, that vision system is now sort of the model for the industry. It actually resulted in a company, DVT, which was sold, I'm going to say, in about 1996 for over $100 million to the company that is the leading machine vision company in the world in terms of dollars. But nonetheless, in that process of selling the company, I donated to Tech enough stock that they and started a chaired professor in my father's name, Fred Dickerson. Now let's turn to the next significant starting of a company, and that is commotion. Computer Automated Motion is the name. That technology has to do with building fairly high speed, very lightweight, quite low cost robotic machines that are often hung from the ceiling. They take no floor space. All the processes have been automated. All people do what's called direct labor is move things around. So there's great potential, great potential to improve the productivity of manufacturing and distribution in general. The objective of engineering is to maximize the social benefit in society. And that social benefit has to do with production of goods and services. And what does it cost to produce the goods and services in a social sense? Because you have to work, right? That's one thing. There may be air pollution. There may be uh, noise. Any number of things are part of the social cost. And what an engineer does is provide a way of producing more social benefits. That is, clean air, being able to take a cheap trip to Chicago, all kinds of things, having cheap clothing, okay? All of those things are benefits, and you're just trying to, in engineering, you're trying to get the most benefit for the least social cost. <laughs> 